An application may not always need a large external storage solution, like Firebase. If our application is small and doesn't need a lot of data, or if we simply want to work with a large array, we can use a JSON file stored on the same server as our app. Unfortunately, Svelte doesn't handle JSON files by default. We'll need to install the JSON Rollup plugin to do that. The JSON plugin is one of the official plugins that Rollup considers critical to everyday use. If you're interested, we'll leave a link in the description for the whole list of official plugins on GitHub. To install the plugin, we follow a simple two step process. The first step is to install the plugin into our project with npm. The second step is to register the plugin in the rollup config file. We'll use VS Code's built in terminal to install the package with npm. So, go up to Terminal in the menu and choose New Terminal. Your project's path should already be selected. From there, we'll type npm install at rollup forward slash plugin dash json. Then we'll do a space, two dashes, save dash dev and hit enter. Once the plugin has been installed, we can open the package.json file and see it listed under dev dependencies. The next step is to tell Rollup that we want to use the plugin by registering it in the rollup.config.js file. So, let's open it up. We'll need to import the package at the top of the file. So, import json from at rollup forward slash plugin dash json. Then, scroll down below the serve function to the object that's being exported. That's the config object. Down here in the plugins array, we'll just invoke JSON and save the file. That's all we need to start working with the plugin. For our demonstration, we'll need an actual JSON file to access. So, let's create a folder in the source directory called Assets. Inside it, we'll create a new file called users.json. We'll copy paste a small array of object literals and save the file. Each object has an ID and a name. All we're going to do is loop through the users in the root app component and show the name on the page. We'll need to import the file first, so in the script section, import users from assets users.json. Now we can use the import name when we want to access the data. So in the markup, we'll write each, then select the each key block from the snippets menu. Then users as user and the key will be user.id. And this shouldn't have a comma here, so let's get rid of it. Finally, in the block body, we'll add a heading, then curly braces, and user.name. If we save and go to the browser, all four names show on the page. In the next video, we'll learn about state management and Svelte stores. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again in the next one.